Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to see how to sort the values in a table and then merge the cells with the same value in Excel using VBA macros. So it's going to look like this. We have a table here with countries and cities and we're going to sort in ascending order and then we're going to merge the countries. So let's go to the Visual Basic Editor and as you see, I have here the table already. Sort and merge groups of cells or something like that and we're going to need two variables so the first one will be a start row as an integer and then end row as an integer as well we will need those variables later when we loop through the table to merge the values but first we're going to sort the table so let me put a commentary here so sort the table data so we're going to start range a1 and we're going to use the current region to get the whole table with data and then the sort method and as you see here the sort method accepts up to three keys we're going to use key one and key two key one is um, a key is the column that we want to sort so in this case key one is going to be range a1 or it could be column A, column 1 and then the, the next uh, parameter here as you see is the order also order 1 so for each key we need to set the order and we're going to set the order ascending okay then let me continue in the next line we're going to have the second key and that's going to be column B so we're gonna sort by city then so first we're gonna sort by country and then we're gonna sort the cities also uh, alphabetically so in ascending order so that's gonna be range B1 or, or could be column B and the order 2 is also gonna be ascending and we need to make sure we don't sort the headers so we're going to use the header yes there is a header country and city that's the header otherwise we could also just start on on row two this is gonna sort the table actually we could run it now and see how that works and as you see it has already sorted the table uh, in ascending order so f france the first germany italy and also the cities okay now the second part of the macro is to to merge mm, the cells with the same value so the first thing we'll do here is to select the table and we're gonna do that with current region and select and now we are gonna work with the selection then we set start row equals to one initially and then we start a loop for end row equals one so it's going to start in in the first row to the selection rows count so the total number of rows in the selection which in this case is 20 and then we're going to check if the value in the cells for that row end row and the first column so selection dot column is going to be column A in this case we are only going to look at column A so if that value dot value is different and let me continue down here is different than the cells end row plus plus one so the next the value in the next row also in the selection dot column then in that case we are going to merge the values so then we say range from cells start row for that column the selection column up to cells end row for the selection column we merge just like that and then a start row now is going to change the value is going to be end row plus one it's going to be the next row so for example here for France 
if we are in row number five, it will merge from two to five, and then start row will now become number six for the next group. Then here we can end the if statement and we can move to the next end row. Now Excel usually pops up a warning when you merge cells that have some value. So in order to avoid that, we're gonna use up here, application, display alerts, it's gonna be false. And then we're gonna set it to true when we finish. Okay, and that's it. Let's run it and see how it works. And as you see, it has merged the groups of values with the same country. So that's how we sort values in a table and merge the cells with the same value in Excel using VBA macros. Thanks for watching.